Hi guys. Okay, so this is going to be a, a standard short video. Having issues with me with me camera. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with it, but I am going to show you what I've been working on. So let's go over here. All right. I know you can't see anything, but that's okay because you will be able to see something in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna try to capture some chat if there is any. So my apologies. Let's see. All right, here we go. Let me turn this audio off, and we should be live. Well, as live as we can be. Okay, so, yes, let's do this real quick. Um, one of the projects I've been working on lately, other than just getting the kids ready for school, because they just started school, they're very happy about that. But uh, I've been wanting to do some mold projects for a while. And I've done it once before. Um, but nothing recently. So, I figured we had a really good, ew, boy, that's on there good. I figured we had a good shot at, uh, doing some stuff, you know, Bill Duran and, uh, from Punish Props and, uh, Evan and Caitlin, they've done some cool stuff and I've been following them. Uh, and of course, Joel Telling, 3D printing nerd, and Joe from 3D Maker Noob. I did say Joel, 3D printing nerd, right? Anyway, so what I'm going to do real quick, so you can walk with me, is I uh, had to get this on my uh, laptop. Because uh, for some reason, I've been having some issues with my other computer and not wanting to do some of the basics that it's been doing. Alright, so, anyway, you don't need to see the, uh, that right now. I'm trying to find a good angle here. So let's, uh, let's move you here. I'm just going to get the printer going real quick. Perhaps I'll, uh, blow some air on myself. And we'll sit down and we'll talk for a minute, eh? So my apologies for the weirdly odd looking video. I'm actually doing this for my cell phone. Oh, you know what? Here, I'll swap so you can actually see the... So yeah, this is my uh, Chiron that I'm doing this on. And we're looking for mold and coaster and we're going to go to print. And we got nothing. Okay, this has happened once before. And it's really annoying when it happens. So yeah, perhaps we won't be able to get this printed tonight after all. Okay, so rather than give up, you guys can sit here with me. Um, I can tell you about the other project I'm working on real quick. Oh, this is the other camera that I normally use. So get that out of the way. All right, so um, Evan and Caitlin did some really cool stuff where they've been doing uh, they do coasters. And uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while now is do some coasters and concrete. I don't know why just because I have ideas that go along with it. So, I made some octagons. Um, these are way too thick. Which is unfortunate. But, you know, I'm having fun with uh, some of the basics. This is one of my favorites, which, you can see that. I don't know if it's reversed. Is it reversed? I don't know. I can't tell from here. And I got 
got this one. And I got a couple other designs that I'm working on too, but these are my first four. <clears throat> the blank one, um, I'm going to be doing some techniques with uh, some uh, concrete powders and stuff, pigments for the edge. Um, I'm not going to treat these or uh, coat them. Um, that's been requested that I don't do that. Um, I am considering leaving this kind of a, the 3D printed texture on there. And the reason it is is because it provides <coughs> just enough texture that if you have a glass on here, um, I don't have a flat glass for that. But in theory, if you have a glass, it's condensing and it's making a lot of moisture it's gonna act like suction right so it's gonna put this thing right up underneath the uh, oh, let's just do this pretend that's a cup so when you get the moisture it's gonna stick to this it's gonna create that surface tension or whatever and it's gonna cause it to stay with the cup when you lift it off the ground or off the table or whatever it is so the idea is that I don't want to do what I was planning on doing, which is making a perfectly smooth finish on this. So the, uh, if you hear that, I'm wondering if that's gonna transfer in cement. Because if it does transfer in cement, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it as a temperature. That way it should hopefully break the surface tension enough that it's not gonna ride the cup up or the, uh, it's not going to ride the cup up with it. All right, so I need, I need this. And I'm going to hope my laptop will have enough battery for this because it was dying, so I had to turn it off. And this is, hey, how you doing, 3 minute Vince? Or Vince. It's good seeing you. I'm sorry for the, for the odd camera thing today um, although I could swap cameras real quick so let me do that that way you guys get a better well, I don't know if you get a better view but no oh, I can't do it that way that isn't gonna work sorry gotta go with the crappy camera on the phone so what I'm trying to do right now is I'm gonna re-export this G code as quickly as I can um, I have a low battery warning going, which is not a good thing. And I have to run Simplify 3D, which is even worse. Because it takes extra, or it makes extra heat. And that is not a good thing. So why did you not work? That's the question of the day. if it has something to do with the <clears throat> infill because uh, I have tried doing the honeycomb infill and that's the only time I've seen the, this machine seems to crash out on me so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to edit the process in my infill pattern I'm going to remove honeycomb and go back to rectilinear and say okay and then I'm going to prepare to print this is just in case I lose my, uh, my computer for some reason. And I'm going to save the tool path. We'll call this the... Alright, right, so this should do what I want it to do, ideally. And if it does, that'll be great. And then I can tell you about the rest of this project here. Actually, while you're sitting here, you can I will show you what I'm looking at. <clears throat> so this is woo. That is the the drawing I'm working on. I'm going to export this one more time. Just to be on the double safe shore side. So this is uh coast. Mold to at 
two. Yeah. Export it twice. And then once that's done, which it says it is, I'm going to exit preview mode. Well, that was really weird. We seem to have crashed. I apologize for that. Um, here, we'll go back to what I was doing. So anyway, I'm working on this right here. So I'm going to remove this one. And I'm going to remove this one and this one. We're going to keep those. And we're going to save the toolpath. Okay, we're gonna call this the coaster molds. All right, so far, so good. All right, so now we can flip back. I do kind of like the uh, camera app, or the uh, cell phone app on this, it's kind of neat. All right, so I am closing out of this now so I can shut this computer down so I don't damage my battery. lights or dark lights, we are happy and good, so devices, device, so we're going to bring you over here now, so let me shut the computer, and here, and we are going to go over here, once again, memory card, pull that in, turn it on, Everybody cross your fingers and pray. Print. All right, so we're gonna try first wrecked coaster mold. And we are going to try and print it and see what happens. Okay, see, I've got nothing. So that's not good. <clears throat> and it won't stop because it's not accepting what I'm doing. So I gotta turn it off. This is terribly inconvenient. Okay, let's try this again. Hello, Rover. How are you, bud? Ugh. This has been a frustrating day. I've got some weird issue going on with uh, Simplify 3D I'm trying to get through. All right, so coaster mold two, print. What is going on? Please don't tell me this is, I'm having the same issue that Joe was having. No, nope, that's not it. Oh, this is absolutely frustrating. Let me pull up the chat real quick so I can see it because I can't view from here. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out why this is not working. I have, there's something going on. This happened to me yesterday too, and I was lucky, and I redid it, and it seemed to be fine after that. So, what what is going on, just real quick, is... Uh, I don't know what view that I have right now. There seems to be a little bit of latency going on, so I have to keep consulting the other screen. Okay, so what's going on is I'm taking the model out of Fusion 360 and, or, uh, yes, Fusion 360, and I am exporting it like I normally do into, uh, Simplify 3D and slicing the profile and exporting the G code. Printing done. That's different. You didn't do anything. Uh, Alright, so.
so yes, anyway, I don't know exactly what's causing this. So I'm going to try looking at the previous model. Well, that's silly. Let's just do this one. Get that one going. See, this model's working just fine. Huh. Well, isn't that funty? Funty. Is that a word, funty? All right. So we'll come back to me. Hi again. Okay, so... Uh, I guess it's not a bad thing. I guess the worst things have happened. My app would stop crashing on me. That would be really cool. So, I apologize for that. Again. Um, okay, so anyway, let's talk about something interesting. So, the coasters. They're going to be fun. I had to reduce the thickness by half. Um, this probably isn't great for representation of thickness, but the thickness is... I'm trying to think, what can you use for reference? I want you to be able to see what I mean here. I, I always do this. When I design something for the first time, <clears throat> I go crazy. So here's a tape measure. And here's my puck. Okay, so if I kind of get this lined up sort of right, there you go. You can see that is just about a half an inch thick. So, oh, yeah, a quarter would have worked too, I guess. I don't think I have one. Mm, no, I do not have a quarter. So anyway, yeah, as you can see, it's just under a half inch thick. This is 10 millimeters, so I think that's... Yeah, but anyway. Hey, Canadian Maker Project, how are you, sir? It's an honor to have you. So, yes. I like the idea, though, behind this, because I have a bunch of people in the area that might be interested in coasters. And I've been working with some of my other friends here at the center, and one of the comments they had was, I don't like coasters that are too smooth because they stick to the bottom of the cup. And if you're having a frosty brew, and it sticks, it lifts it up, and then it comes crashing down onto your nice, pretty glass dining room table, or picnic table, <coughs> and it shatters into a million pieces, and nobody's happy. So these are going to have a cork bottom. They are going to have a surprise on the top at some point, which I haven't got there yet and I will tell you guys about. Um, I will do this first and then epically fail at it or succeed and then I will show you how I did it because it's one of the rare times that I really want to make sure I do this right. I will give you a hint though. It does involve our little uh, pocket melter. Yeah. Um, another thing I really wanted to kind of show you guys tonight. I don't know if I have it. We have the ability. Let's find good times. Oh, yeah. I always like to show my failures. Okay. So, my package arrived. Sorry. My package arrived. This is the uh, 3D gloop. So, it is here. Now, they were touting that this could do, be used as an adhesive, as a bed surface, and as a part smoother. You see where I'm going with this yet? Um, I'm not in a wonderfully um, ventilated room. Well, I am, but... Eh. A little tight. Sorry, I had to check on the printer. But I think for just once, we will do this. I do like that they included the pig mat just in case of a spill. Because I'm going to use this pig mat. And I'm going to take you guys for a ride. So let's turn you around. Let's see. Hopefully, you can see. I wait for this to catch up. Are you looking at me or you're not looking at me? Stop doing that. There we go. Alright. Oh my 
Okay, there we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I can't see the chat right now. So I'm going to check. Okay, so this should have... Ooh, there's some pressure in that sucker. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush some of this off. And we're going to... I'm going to run this right on here like this. Oh, this is thick like snot. We're going to just rub this on like a madman. Huh. Not loving it so far. It's like painting on rubber cement. It does have a little bit of a smell, but it's not overpowering. I should be wearing my my mask, which I am not. So please observe all safety procedures when using this product. It does have a bit of a smell to it, so. Ugh. You know, if I could really see the chat now, I'd probably be cringing. All right, so I'm not exactly sure what we are achieving at this point, except for making a mess. So um, this looks like a whole lot of work. So I'm going to close this now, or attempt to. All right, we're gonna let this sit for a minute. We're gonna turn you back around. That way I can see if the, uh, the stream crashes again. Okay, hi, I'm back again. Let me check the chat. <sighs> Live chat, all messages are visible. There we go, hello Minnesota Maker. I apologize for not seeing you say hi. I was in the middle of applying some 3D glue. Yeah, I understand that feeling completely. My PC is over there, and I'm actually thinking that we should go over there. Why don't we go over there together? Do I need any? Oh, I do need stuff. So we're going to bring... I know, I'm, I'm taking you with me, like the Blair Witch Project. Do I need, what else do I need over here? Okay, so we've got the 3D glue. I'm going to bring that over. I know you really wanted to get a good close view of my face, right? Hi, how are you? All right, we're getting there. I don't really know what this was going to accomplish, by the way. It just said that it did parts moving, and I was kind of remotely curious as to what that means. See, I know that when you do acetone smoothing, or, uh, is it? yeah, acetone smoothing, that works with uh, ABS, which is cool. But what I don't understand is I understand this acts as a adhesive. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to put stuff underneath the desk so I have workspace so I can set you guys up next to me. And I have gobbledy de gunk all over the place. So here, let's uh, unplug this camera. Since for some reason YouTube is not working for me all right here we go now I can see the chat and I can see you guys so as I was mentioning every, every feed I go to Rover go a wrench okay Let's see. Oh, okay, I understand now. So for every, every feed you do, you have to go fetch a wrench. I think if I got that right. Sorry. I mean, it's not late, late, but it's getting late. All right, so we're looking at the safety information on the package. Yeah, nice. 
like universal wrenches. So this is the safety proto there for the safety information that everybody should make sure to observe. Not in Joel's chat. Yeah, right. Well, Joel has very limited openings for his uh, moderators because he has regular moderators. Toxic vapor. Avoid eye contact. Warning. Seems fairly good. Okay, so, opinion. I feel the brush strokes. Which could just be me not knowing what I'm doing. Let's see if it does it rub off. Um, okay. Interesting. I would not say this smooths um, at this point. What I would say is that it fills. So, let me show you. You see this? That is 3D gloop. Um, it, it did add more. So it's like basically painting on liquid uh, PLA, which is cool. Um, I think I could probably come up with some uses for this. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can get... Ooh, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's do some experimenting. Alright, so you guys can come down here. Alright, let's see if we get a good view. You got a good view? Too many people in there, over 300 most of Oh, I know, right? Well, you know, he gets a... <clears throat> he has a lot of stuff that he can talk about, which is cool. I think that's why everybody likes to watch. So, at this point, this is where I'm at, okay? So we have poor lighting, which I can fix. So let me do that real quick. Everything is an adventure when I do these videos and live streams, I'm telling you. Right now I'm moving my, my big lithophane because it's always in the way. I love it, but it's always in the way. All right. How is this? A little bit better for the lighting part? I want you guys to be able to see this. Oh, yeah. I think that'll work just fine. Let me uh, slide that underneath the tripod. Make it even better. Okay. Now I'm going to turn my fan <laughs> towards me. That way... <coughs> The air is moving, sorry. All right, so we've got our gloop. We're gonna flip this over. Now that we know what kind of surface this does, I think it just dries too quick. So I can't get a really good smooth effect onto it. So. And that sounds really cool, by the way. Butterfly box. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and we're going to see just how fast we can do this. All right, so let's get a good goop on here so we can keep it. All right, so it's already drying. Ah! So we're going to try and set that right on there real quick. We're going to push. Ah! Da, 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 da. Ah. All right. So we got enough time to put the cap on. Really good. And let's see. I need a Sharpie. I have a Sharpie, but I don't think it's over here. I think it's in my cup way back there. All right, so what I have done is I have secured this as one piece using 3D glue.
Holy. Yep. And I, I didn't do the whole surface. I only did the middle. So I'm able to see the layers separating. <clears throat> so I might be able to push something in there to split it apart. Maybe. We could try that. Let's see if we can do it here. Oh, yeah. I think I can get something in that. So we can see if we can split that apart now. Oh, we need tools for that. Yep, we got a Sharpie. We got a spatula. We got a razor knife. All right. We have the tools necessary to do the job. This one is the one I'm using and I have opened, so I'm gonna put an O right here. That way it tells me that that's the one I have been opening and using. Try turning. Good idea. All right. Oreo cookie. I want the creamy middle. Nope. So far, it's, it's doing pretty good. So what I'm going to do is try to keep my fingers away from this. Ah, okay. So I got the knife in there. And I can work the blade around, so that's... I don't know if I can spread this enough to get this in there. Alright. Alright, so let's find a good... there we go. So, I don't know if it's the glue or if it's... All right, so we have cut through it. And... Looks like we got a pretty... Just... I don't know. So we did get it apart. Using Ivan Hammer. <laughs> I don't have one here. I should have one here, but I don't. Okay, so our observations for our experiment. <sighs> well, I would say, as of right now, Hmm. I hesitate to say that this is actually fusing together. It almost looks more like a uh, cyanacrylate. A super glue. Where it just basically creates a film over this and glues it. Hey, Willie! <clears throat> I'm sorry, Wiley. I meant Wiley. So, yeah, I'm not, I don't know. I don't feel like this is really bonding in the plastic. It feels like it's more s sitting on the surface of the plastic, but let's, uh, you can't see what I'm doing. All right, let's see if that works. Can you see? Oop, I went the wrong way. That's why. All right, hold on. <clears throat> Um, not really, not, not after the fact, there's a, t just a hint of an odor, but nothing, nothing major. Not at, like when you first open the bottle or when you spread it on. Huh. So, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't, it's not looking promising at the moment.
3D printing DIY kit support five fill. Oh, okay. I was like, what are you talking? Are you talking about the five into one mixer thingy? All right. So what do we need? I have an idea. Thumpkin has an idea. It's probably not a good one. But you know me. All right, so we got that. We need the chisel. We've got the chisel, mushnizzle. All right, the chisel. Why do you need the chisel? Cuts. What we're gonna do is first, we're gonna lay the chisel down on the wrong side of the blade. I understand, and we're just gonna scrape some of this off. I want to see what this does. I'm still not not feeling it. I mean, it's definitely taken, there's definitely glaze missing on the surface. This is the side that was on the, uh, the printer. And they did demonstrate that it holds 150 pounds. But whether or not it bonds, I mean, it certainly does do something. And it could be I didn't let it sit long enough to do its thing. Because this side definitely looks different. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to try another thing. So we're going to move these bottles out of the way. We're going to try something else. Ah. We're gonna bring out our friend, the Porter Cable. Yeah, you guys remember this from a previous video, don't ya? I'm gonna turn it up on low. Woo, that's nice and warm. Let's see what this does. I want you to explode or catch on fire. Alright. Let's put that back. <clears throat> Let's see if this comes up. Let's see. Yeah, definitely warm. Alright, let's see if we can. Oh, yeah, look, it got all squishy. I got too much heat on the PLA, so it got squishy. So I, got, I went a little too overboard with the heat. It made it very, very, very squishy. Huh. This side definitely got squishier, but I might have held it up there longer. Well, in theory, yes, Rover. Yes, indeed it would. Hmm. Well, I mean, there's definitely something going on. I can't really get a good feel. But... I mean, with this much super glue, I'd have never been able to get these two apart. <clears throat> so, I mean, that, that right there kind of concerns me a little bit. Not horribly, I mean, obviously, but. But I can't go around looking at this either, because it'll drive me nuts. So I'm gonna reaffix this together, because why not? Because I can. But with this time, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put some on there, we're gonna go crazy, we're gonna put some on here. I'm going to put the lid back on, and we're going to take these two halves, and we're going to introduce them back together again. Forever. Because I don't want to take these apart again. Ugh. 
I will say though that it's not as strong smelling as uh, rubber cement, which I don't know that that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, so I bonded the two halves together this time. Oh, I got some on me. Oh, I got it on me! That was legitimate concern right there. <clears throat> okay. So what test should we do next? I wonder if this is a sandable surface. Do we have any sand paper? I do not know. I may not. I did have a sanding block at one point. But I believe it is in my toolbox. So the answer is, unfortunately, no. I do not have any sandpaper. Well, I mean, that's not bad. I can think of uh, a couple cases where this might come in handy. I mean, I had a lot. I got a lot of surface area here. It's not dry yet. I don't know why it took as long as it did to dry, but it certainly did seem to take longer. But that is interesting. So, huh. All right, so that experiment is done, at least for now. <clears throat> so let's bring you guys back to me over here. Re you can look at the light. It's right over. Here, I can turn it towards me. Look! I've got light on my face! It's almost like a face light. So, my thoughts so far. I don't know. This is PLA. It does hold the parts together. Uh... They did not say that you couldn't peel it apart. Um, I am not doing a static load test, which I guess we could do. Maybe I could build in some cleats or something on each side, glue these together, and see if I can hang from the ceiling. I'm sure you guys would get a kick out of that. <clears throat> trying to put this back in the bag. But, again, this is far from a review. This is just kind of a... I got it in the mail. I wanted to share it with you. On my mail day, 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 because I don't have a day for mail, because nobody sends me anything. I don't get it. Um, okay, so I think the last thing today on the agenda, not that I really had an agenda, uh, I did talk about molds. Um, one of the things I want to do when I print the new ones, as soon as I can get the code to go through. What noise are you making over here? Oh, I'm 3D printing a gun, by the way. Not a real one. Strictly for prop. Hmm, that's a... The flick test doesn't change anything. So yes, anyway. We have... This. Oh. We have this. And this... Is Mold Max 60. Which... Is a tin cure. Good to 560 degrees Fahrenheit or 294 degrees Celsius. So, do you think I'm going to be doing this with this? Do you think I might be using the nice dandy melting pot I have for this? Yes. Yeah. So, 
What am I going to be casting in Pewter, you ask? Might it be this? It might be. Well, not, not this. This. Just saying. So yeah, I've got some uh, project ideas that I'm going to be doing. And I think this may very well be my very first Etsy once I get through doing this. No, 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 no. I am too lazy for that. I am actually going to be just using straight up silicone. But I have to do... I did want to do the, uh, was it the green sand or whatever it's called? Which is the uh, high temp casting sand. But I can get several uses out of the Mold Max 60 once I use it. Um, and it's going to be used for very, very small parts. Um, and I'm going to be casting the aluminum, or not aluminum, yeah, no. If I was casting aluminum, yeah, I'd be using Sam. But the Mold Max 60 should be able to handle the uh, pewter without much of a problem. Um, again, that's also why I have my handy dandy heat gun because I'm going to heat the mold before I put the pewter in it. So we're going to try that and see if that works. Speaking of, uh, I had to unplug that thing. So, hey, Matt. Matter Makers old live streams. Yeah, no, I can do that. There's a bunch of people that have done some really good ones. Uh, Bill Duran from uh, Punish Props. He's done some really good videos on that. There's there's a bunch of people that have done really awesome, epic videos on stuff like that. So there's not, and I may have already seen some of that. So before I bid you a fan adieu, or see you later, bye. What did I not cover? We talked about the object. We talked about casting the object, which by the way, I'm gonna get the Smooth On product. <clears throat> um, I can't remember, it's a tin cure, I know that. But I have to check, give me one sec. I'm trying to, I'm looking, see, I can actually look at you guys today and check my email and not be completely rude. Let's see if they get me back. If not, I can tell you what it is. It is not on here. So let me check. It's a like I said, it's a smooth on project or product. Smooth on <clears throat> products. Silicone rubber tin cure. Because I don't want to use platinum cure. Platinum Cure supposedly is stronger than Tin Cure, but Tin Cure has less issues. And for somebody that's never really gotten into mold making much, other than my little floppity flippity one I milled on a coin, it was funny. Rub it in, Rover. I have one. Well, technically two, because I got I got the camera and the phone, and I got my screen over here. Oh, that's another thing I've noticed. Can anybody explain to me why everybody is doing the... Uh... Let me show you. Where? I need a piece of paper for this. I can't just demonstrate it without paper. Alright, here's the paper. I'm convinced it's a secret message. So I'm going to show it to you. It's a really good trick. Are you ready? I'm going to, I'm drawing it out right now. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Oops, I can't look that. I did it wrong. I get it right. Hold on. I'll get it right this time.
And now this has been something, this has been a trick that I've seen lately. I'm not sure what it's all about, but let's see if you can figure it out. You ready? Have you figured it out? Because, you know, I've been seeing it everywhere, just like this. Random pieces of paper everywhere. And you don't get it. And it will be reversed. Oh, was it reversed? Hold on. You might be right. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it really is. That's awesome. Hold on, is it, is it reversed on this side too? Hold on, let me see. I wanna see if both cameras are reversed. Let's see. Ah, see? There you go. <laughs> I always forget about the front-facing camera being backwards. I don't get that. Why do they do that? Anyway. That's funny. I'm really bummed that I didn't have any sandpaper, though. I really wanted to kind of... See what this. Wow, you know, I really this does feel like it feels like PLA, kind of like a hybrid between a rubber and a PLA at the same time. I don't get it. Or am I supposed to? Okay, so yes, I am going to be getting some Smooth On product. It is the. Silicone rubber tin cure. It is called the Mold Max, I believe. Yes, it's Mold Max. It's a little softer than, uh, it's not very rigid. But I don't know if that's the one that I think it's the Mold Max 30 is the one I'd be using. It's a 24-hour cure time. It's pink. I don't really care about the color, but I kind of like the Mold Max 25. It's purple. What is the, okay, so the hardness, I'm guessing the higher the number, the bigger the heart, the greater the hardness. So like a 30A would be stupid hard. Interesting. Well. Okay, so I've got some uh, homework to do on that. But yeah, I think the uh, 10A for this is probably not strong enough. If I get, if I'm reading this correctly, so we'll have to go something bigger. But anyway, we are going to be doing some molding here soon. Oh yes, we are. I'm also 3D printing a once I get the 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 thingy to go onto the printer, and it just stops. It doesn't, you know, doing the not wanting to work thing. We're going to be doing that too. So yeah. It's happening. We're gonna be pouring stuff into a mold. I gotta bring my hot glue gun in. I do because I am. I'm going to be 3D printing the mold container, and then I'm going to take the new version of this, and I'm going to hot glue it to the bottom, and then I'm gonna pour very carefully because I don't have a vacuum chamber thingy and then I'm going to pour actually I'm going to paint some of the uh, mold making stuff into the grooves on the like ones like this I'm going to go <laughs> lot it in there and then I'm going to go <laughs> and then I'm going to slowly pour around the edge and then I'm going to slowly fill it until I get to the desired height and then wait 24 hours and in 24 hours after that 
I'm going to take the bottom of the mold off. And I'm going to try and wiggle just a little and push it the mold out. True thingy. That's my goal. That is my plan. You are now in the know with my plan. Although I could just reprint it. Because if I, I can reuse the base and just leave the plastic on that, I could. I do have a vacuum that I could do that with. And I'd have to make some of that squishy putty stuff for the gasket. Grant Thompson did that. The King of Random. It was actually a very fascinating episode to watch. But, anyway, uh, I think that's pretty much all I got for today. Unless you guys got something else to add to it. But, we have come up against the clock. It has been 56 minutes and 44 seconds. Shop vac, bucket with hole. Hose size. Yes, I could do a five gallon, well, I don't think I'd do a five gallon bucket with my shop vac, but... Well, I mean, it would dimple it, but it probably wouldn't collapse it. But I could do that. I don't know if I want to go that route, though, because then I can't see in the thing. The balloon video. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that one yet, actually. I just saw it pop up on my feed. I have been horrible lately. I was not. I was able to see uh, Wiley's stream this morning for the first time in a while. I don't even know, Wiley, if you've moved yet. Last I knew you were moving out and in, into temporary housing and then out of the temporary housing into permanent housing. So I don't even know where you're at at this point. And then, let's see. I have not been able to be on Walters in a while because it just has not lined up for me. Um, let's see. Um, I knew this was going to happen. Shom. I haven't been on Shom's stream in a little while. I've seen him pop up. Um, Nary's. Um, I haven't watched any of Joel's. Yeah, I'm going to watch that one. I, I will. I'm honest. Um, let see. Joel's. I, have, I didn't get to see his live stream with his wife. Because, uh, again, busy. Um, I did see, I have been, I am caught up on the videos other than the uh, live stream ones that Joel's done. I haven't had a chance to really watch those yet. So, but anyway, as always, you guys are awesome. I'm sorry for the rambling and the failure to print what I was printing, but I will show you what I am printing. And you can laugh at me if you want. But I will show you. Oh my God, that is... The bed has done it again. All right, so I keep having this recurring problem with this thing. If I don't keep an eye on it, the bed gets way too close. So hopefully that is not going to affect the overall quality. It's definitely too close though. But I'm afraid to monkey with it now. I guess I could. No, I better not. So yeah, anyway, this is the Icer, aka the Night Night Gun, from uh, Marvel's Agents of Shield. And uh, there's a reason I'm doing this. And if you guys are interested, I will tell you what that is another day. So anyway, for now. You guys have a great evening, and thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it, as always. Uh, you don't have to subscribe, and you don't have to like my videos. I appreciate it when you do. My camera's over here. I'm trying to look. Yeah, this is messing me up. Wait. It's easier to look at a camera, because, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, do what you guys feel you must do. I do this for fun. I do it because I like to do it. And you guys watch because you're gluttons for punishment. But anyway, until next time, guys, you have a wonderful evening. Um, stay excellent to one another.
I need a new catchphrase. Every time I use one, it seems like it gets used somewhere else. And then people go, oh, you're copying somebody. So anyway, you guys, just like I said, as always, you know, keep creating and innovating and never giving up on your dreams. And thank you for showing up. And have a great day.